Hi, there's Simon and today we're gonna react to Samurai Jack episode 1 of season 1 and we're gonna start the series of Samurai Jack. If you want to truly watch more of the episodes faster than on YouTube, then you can go down the, in the description for Patreon link and you can watch uh, ahead of YouTube and other series oh, yeah. also. <laughs> I remember watching Samurai Jack back in the days when it was on Cartoon Network, but I never watched this last season that was released on Adult Swim. I never did. So we will do it, at, well, in this series. I also never probably watched it past the season two. I don't really think remember from like the thumbnails. I don't think I remember anything of it. I remember only a like few episodes. It was a long time ago when I watched Samurai Jack. So let's see if it still holds up and if I truly love it because I remember that I always did. And my parents were always like laughing, like, oh, they don't, don't say anything almost in this show. But I, but they enjoy it, and I enjoy it. There was something about it weirdly different than other shows on the Cartoon Network at the time. Because, well, there are some episodes that they barely spoke in. And it was just so atmospheric and amazing. And it's just like, it's, it struck a chord with me. And it's just like, wow, this, it's, this is something special that I want to really watch. So let's see if it's really that great. Uh, and yeah, this is my first reaction to the episode one of Samurai Jack. So yeah, so let's see Samurai Jack episode one, a season from season one right now. Um, it's a series by Gandhi Tarkovsky, uh, Mike Lazo, like Linda Simansky, Brian A. Miller, Jennifer Pelprey, Rob Shorer, and Cave Crawford. Um, it's 22 episodes, uh, 22 uh, minute runtime for episode. Maybe it's gonna be longer. I know that episode one and two, I think, were like special uh, movie that was premiered on Cartoon Network, if I remember right. But yeah, uh, the original work was of course from 2001 to 2004 on Cartoon Network. Then from 2000 on 2017, uh, Adult Swim published finally the fifth season of Samurai Jack. So yeah, let's check out if it still holds up and if I remember some of it or not of it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I also know that there is like a game, video game of Samurai Jack. Uh, we're gonna uh, talk about it later, uh, like what should I do about it, because I know it's canon to this series and uh, season 5. So we, But we're gonna take care of it uh, when it's gonna take time to it, right? Uh, not now, right now. Okay, so let's see. What's going on with Samurai Jack? <clears throat> I remember this. <laughs> I still do. I still do. Radish and Jinty Jokowski, Scott Willis, Don Crew. Of course, the voice actor for Aku, if I remember right, was Mako. Sadly, he passed away. The same for her uh, uncle from Avatar, Russell Burden. I remember this one. This moment I remember, it's like in my memories. <sighs> There's the Tower of Aku, kind of like Eclipse moment. Phil Lamar is of course Samurai Jack. Amazing voice. And here is a uh, coup. Cool. 
Hmm. 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 Oh. So this goes for generations. Hmm. It's always good to have. <laughs> hmm. So this was in the past, okay. But didn't he get reborn again? Or like get out? Hmm. Hmm. That's nice words. This is in Japan, right? <laughs> Mischievous Chuck. Of course I know that his name if if I remember right, he's not Jack, which makes sense. He's from Japan. It wouldn't make really sense to have be named Chuck. But Aku is here. Guess the sword didn't really kill him, just weakened him and made him wait like Sauron. I don't think so you spears or r rocks gonna work on him. Oh, he gets stuck at least. Oh, he absorbs them. He's gonna fire them back? Of course. If this was, well, 18 plus from the start, then I think they would die here. Laser eyes. Fire eyes. Wow. No, well, now... Some people died. Great, Mako. <laughs> mother. This is his mother or his wife? Okay. So it's your grandfather, grandma, or it's your mother? Um, I, I think, I guess it's your grandmother. So Aku kidnapped our father not kill him yet I think and we are exiled from our land <laughs> with this goofy a fucking face of Aku I remember Aku was so, such a fucking weirdo I don't know if it was uh, hmm. oh this a uh, Chinese ship not really or is it Japanese Oh, so she gave him away and she will return herself? What with the sword? You gonna give it back or you gonna... What are you gonna do with it? Goodbye, grandma. Or mother. I, I guess grandma. But sometimes men also call their like wives mother to like refer them to their children. It's weird. <laughs> It sucks to suck. That's rough, buddy. I may, I may maybe have like... I remember this, so I don't maybe have the, the best reaction for it now, but I bet it's gonna be better with epi each episode. Okay, so there is... Warriors in the sky. Inspiration for Jack. Good, good. We are in still in Asian countries, but I think this is Istanbul or some Arabic, Turkish maybe, country.
this Turkey or no it's this uh, I think uh, some Arabic country of unknown origin <laughs> I always re remember this fucking girl riding on this horse like slow in, in, st in still motion <laughs> it's so weird so fucking weird so he will learn how to ride horses and take care of animals maybe Samurai Jack is kind of like Batman, let's be honest, like he also travels around the world, it seems, and he trains. It's like Batman. <laughs> okay, so he knows how to ride horses, that's a good knowledge to have. In Japan they, I think, rarely ride horses. I don't know. I mean, they, I think they did, but uh, not very often. Through the deserts, okay. So this needs to be some uh, Arabic country near Africa, I guess. Oh, yeah, I was right. It's They travel to Africa on horseback. Holy shit. Sturdy fucking horses. Some Africa uh, tribe. He will try and here appreciate maybe more wildlife and training. Oh, with spears, okay. Or like sticks. Kind of guts and gambino over here. <laughs> less, less excessive and uh, more like understandable. You know, no, nowhere near the level of gambino and guts training. Good. He only needs three times. Or it's just a speed up version. Oh I, I like that they didn't show the 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 woman because she probably didn't have any like bra or anything as knowing for the tribes in Africa. Okay, so they went through the desert, Sahara? Or where, where do I do oh to the Egypt to Egypt. Oh he's gonna learn with the Egyptians, okay. Writing and uh, reading, that's a great stuff. And he's also knowledgeable in more languages now, other than Japanese. Which, let's be honest, uh, I'm gonna pass for a second. Let's be honest, like, it's how the fuck does it even make sense? I mean, I know this uh, in the Asian countries, but he's Japanese. <laughs> they, I don't think so. They speak really Japanese. I, I don't think so. That you could agree, uh, talk to them. But sure, <laughs> it's a cartoon. I know, I know, it's a cartoon. But sure, he travels around the world and he learns languages. Maybe he speaks through omatopoeia. You know, he just like through body language and that's it. <gasps> through the Greek or Roma to Roma. Rome, Roma, Rome. Okay, so wrestling and uh, physical sports. Well, that should be Greek much more, shouldn't it be? Or this is Greek? Or this, sh this should be Greek or like Rome because like there is Colosseum or it's just like merge between the two. I think it is, should be uh, not. This should be Rome from the like hairstyles and stuff I, I think okay so he rest learned last thing he grew up Robin Hood <laughs> so he's in Sherwood England he can't catch an arrow with his bare hands and he like turn up the uh, gi of his okay nice so he knows also English <laughs> like proto old Germanic languages or whatever like how not sure whatever yeah that's Robin Hood for you <laughs> you got a shot okay and he ran away good for him I guess <laughs> no words spoken since the opening okay Vikings so he travels now to Nordic But we still are from like we travel first to like Asian countries to like Nordic now and now to Russia I guess. Good no of America <laughs> tribes. 
okay so he learned how to steer a ship and now he learns how to throw his axes and like maybe more agility sport uh, stuff mongolia yeah okay so he knows trains with mongols spear uh, throwing and stuff okay now he's in tibet china i, I guess tibet he trains with monks now okay so now physical body strength and like discipline of mind he's very skillful for uh, i don't know how old he should be right now but he's very fucking skillful like he could take probably on any man but aku is not a man sword fighting spear fighting okay we are again in the nordic areas antarctica maybe Siberia? No. Not probably not, right? Maybe Antarctica. I don't know what he's doing here. Who is here that can train you? Master Yoda? Oh, this is Tibet. Th th the complete m mountain tops. Okay. I guess, I assume. The insignia of his gi. Or G, whatever. This is his grandma? She's still alive? Or this is his mother? I think grandma. Chuck. I mean, I know that like, he's not... Okay, whatever. I just... I know that because I remember that. That his not name is not really Jack. But he returns. Like Bruce Wayne. To fight with ancient evil Aku. Dum, da, da, da. Now you're ready for the for the new clothes and the katana of your father. Okay. You didn't fight with katana before, so. I think you should be ready to fight with it. He's pretty ready, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Can you take him on? Of course, Mako Asaku, Kevin Michael Richard, uh, also was here, Jen Bennett, Greg Griffin. Interesting. Tara Strong, of course. Tommy Keane, Darry Norris, Greg Baldwin, John DiMaggio. A lot of great cast, okay. So they are all slaves, of course. Why not? And they are building something and mining something. I don't know what, but so crystals. This is literally border. <laughs> and he watches them. Or they just like do it for like, oh, spooky walls, but like slaves are uh, turning it on its own, okay? Oh. At least they gave you a break. Is that Jack Father? <laughs> no. no water. You didn't soak? Jack catched it, of course. And now he will punch the minions. I wonder who the minions are, like some demons or just like converted humans. <laughs> I got, I like that one of them like short and like like big. <laughs> Not the same size. Hmm. You can block their claws. 
I guess they are not human because they can cut them open. Uh, which, you know, old TV series shows wouldn't allow to, to show, you know, people get cut. That's why I remember Samurai Jack went with the robot's way. Yeah, I know, spoilers, I guess. I, I remember some stuff. But went with the non-human things. I think later maybe there was like... Oh. I think there was later uh, like some, if I remember right, some like monsters because they are also still not human. I don't know anything about season 5, so they maybe kill everyone else because it's a little soon. Hmm. Hmm. I want to see something again. Sorry. I want to see one thing again. Hmm. Okay. Do you all want to mention the year? Okay. Hmm. In what way? <laughs> Fucking jerk. Interesting. They had the horse. That's smart. Evil does find a way. Oh, I like that shot. I like the lighting. Oh, I like I like this shot a lot much even more. Oh, this one is great. Amazing, amazing, hand written, hard drawn, everything written, <laughs> hand drawn. It's just the style of, you know, uh, Tarkovsky. It's just the same in the Clone Wars series from 2003 that I also really liked. And of course, Dexter Laboratory. Parkour, okay. They're standing on like flames or what 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 is this? So it's just like spikes spiky things just for the shit and giggles. <laughs> Who decorated this place for you, Aku? You are you that good at it? Hmm. It's like a black smoke. Like black some sludge. Hmm. The deliver of darkness. Shogun of sorrow. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you fucking mistaken. <laughs> it's like what? Hmm. Hmm. Generational fight. Hmm. Are you sure? Some fucking gorilla, Aku, okay. 
Throwing hands, okay, okay. Oh, blood! Nice. No arm. He's like a smoke. Black ashes or something like that. Scorpion. Why scorpion? Hmm. I gotta see about that, huh? This sword is pretty greatly made for a katana. Which they were sturdy, but you know, they could be easily break if the pin breaks in it. And then the blade is like... Boop. If the pin breaks, it's just like, you know, but you, it's made so it can be easily replaced. A octopus. Or a squid. So we can cut a lot of his limbs or whatever, but he regenerates, okay? Or, or does it, but just has so many, like, stuff. A goat? Why would that work, Aku? Oh, in half. No, oh, he's now like a bird. I guess I could don't have a chance against him. That's a very boldy move to throw your weapon at the enemy. But it worked gratefully. Absorbed him inside of the katana. Why do you release him? Let him stay. <laughs> Final stop, huh? Hmm. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know the premise of the show. A so fucking great move on the writer part. So powerful. They could just teleport you like that. But he's not powerful enough to kill uh, kill him on the spot. Holy shit. That's episode one. <laughs> Holy shit. I remember that. Uh, that was such a great episode. It was like, what the fuck? But I think it was like a big episode when I watched it. Because it was released as a movie. So yeah, that's very interesting, isn't it? That like... Jack won against Aku, but uh, Aku, because of his uh, powers of teleportation, he threw him into the whirlwind. That's gonna be explained in the next episode, if I remember right. I don't remember every episode, so don't, you know, be like, oh, he remembered this one. It's not gonna be great reactions. I never watched episode uh, season five. I don't think so. I ever watched season four fully. I don't really, like I said, when I see thumbnails of the show, I don't remember any of these episodes outside of season two like i remember the great episodes of like the well spoilers but when it's gonna happen i'm gonna say when i remember it i don't remember everything and i don't remember of course what they are saying that's for sure but yeah that's uh episode one of samurai jack for you we're gonna see but i'm gonna watch like two more episodes right now and uh, when you're gonna watch, see it on youtube you can probably there's probably gonna be uh like two more episodes on Patreon. So yeah. I'm just gonna do a, a list of things that I'm gonna like talk about later or maybe through the whole season. Uh, first uh, note is Aku is powerful, uh, but is not powerful as uh, sword, as the, as the katana. Okay. Uh, Jack is sent into portal. Jack's father is still alive. Grandma is also. Uh, everyone is enslaved. And Jack won. Phil Lamar, a samurai Jack as ga and guard. Aku as Mako. Rest in peace, Mako. Sadly, Mako is uh, since 2006. And I know that he's got replaced uh, later on. Well, the original run of the series was from 2001 to 2004. 
in uh, you know season one to four so if he plays a coup in season five if there is a coup in season five someone else is gonna probably play him and i think it's gonna be the same one who played uh, uncle uh... god damn i forget the name of the uncle from avatar lesson but iroh yeah uncle iroh mm. I wonder if I can check out later maybe like Primal also series from Johnny Tarkovsky. I wonder how that went. Was training in Asia and Europe. So yeah, that's all I have notes for now. We're gonna see if I'm gonna use them somehow or not. But yeah, I don't have really that much to say right now. There wasn't that much like philosophical stuff going on other than uh, the father of uh, Jack saying uh, the Emperor Sab Shima Shimono uh, who was uh, four voice actors in this episode <laughs> could you tell? Uh, but yeah uh, we're gonna see now the episode 2 so okay I don't know if there's gonna be a cut but if there's gonna be then uh, that's it for YouTube and you can watch more on Patreon and if not then you can watch more on Patreon anyway. So yeah, but Patreon, uh, don't worry, we will watch episode two right now.